This is a level that I created called Construct. This level was made in Unreal Engine 5, and it is my first project for my Level Design 1 class at Champlain College. We were tasked with making a map that would play well for an elimination game mode, and that is what I did with this map construct. This map is themed around an abandoned construction zone in a city. There are a lot of open areas to play around, but there is also a lot of cover that's distributed around the map in order to provide effective sight lines for players to engage with one another. There's many levels of elevation on this map, the lowest being the underground section and the pit, and the highest being the points on the crane and the raised concrete walkway. In order to fit the construction zone feel, I included a lot of industrial themed colors and materials. For the cover, I also utilized a lot of stereotypically construction themed items such as bricks, bags, boxes, and barriers. Players can utilize these to hide from their enemies as well as to peek off of them to hide part of their body. I spread out the locations of the med packs as well as the weapons, so it incentivizes players to go into different areas as well as to try out different strategies to find the weapons that they need or want to utilize in their playstyle. There are jump pads, stairs, and ramps in order to help the player to get to where they need to go. I've found that the optimal range for fighting in this map is medium range, but there are many ways to close the gap due to dashing and hiding behind cover. The main focus of my level is the giant crane in the middle. Players can dash upwards in order to access these areas, which have valuables such as a large heel and a shotgun. The assault rifles are placed in open locations, which are also protected by bits of cover, so the player can engage the enemy with the reassurance of protection from the cover. The shotguns are placed in extremely open locations, as they are the strongest weapon in the game. I decided that because they are so strong, they should be in places where they are not most effectively utilized so players can grab them and then make use of them in the tighter areas around the map as opposed to the open ones. Acquiring these weapons is very risky but very rewarding as well. Now let's take a look into how my map plays in a live setting. First, I will show what it's like for the player to play the game from their perspective. Here they are taking out their enemy right off spawn before swiftly going to dash up for the assault rifle in the middle. And what they're doing is they're going to utilize those barriers in order to protect their lower body while peeking back over them when they are ready to shoot and then hiding back behind them when they're needing to reload. After that kill, they're going to swiftly dash down in order to get some more ammo for their assault rifle as well as the heals that are also in the middle in order to replenish their health. Here they see a player, they go behind cover and they utilize it to get a quick kill. Then they dash into the middle to grab an assault rifle. They're checking their angles while hiding behind the cover to protect their body. And they're going up to the middle crane to grab some health as well as to go to the top to grab the shotgun. Since it's not the best weapon at the time to utilize, they utilize their assault rifle and grenade to secure that kill. And then they dash back down to get more protection. Here the player utilizes the pit as cover in order to shoot the enemy, and then they use a grenade and dash to safety before the grenade secures the kill. Here's a simulated 2v2 game on my map construct. And what's happening right now is two sets of two AI are fighting against one another. The red player on the right comes down from the upper area in order to peek the player in the middle, and they utilize the cover of the wall and the short little barrier in order to trade shots with them. The blue player does defeat the red player and then goes to grab the assault rifle, but the other red teammate comes and peeks the middle of the pit and eliminates the blue player before they can acquire any more health. Now both of the red players are going into the middle pit. One of the red players grabs a shotgun and they both work together in order to defeat the one blue player. And that's my Lyra elimination map. Thank you for watching my level demonstration of my map construct.